friends a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back to my new session so in today's video video or in today's session i have bring you new lesson that is for transportation in animals okay so what is in by the transportation as you know the human being consumes the every day food water and also it takes the oxygen okay so these are the some basic needs that we are taking inside and it is very necessary to transport it to the various parts of the body okay also we can say that the human body produces the different types of the waste so it is also necessary to remove out from the body from a certain body parts where we are throwing out that excretory product also it is necessary to transport that waste products to the certain excretory organ okay so have you ever think that how this all the transportation takes place in the body of the human being okay so all this transportation in the body takes place with the help of the one system and that system is called as what circulatory system okay that system is called as what circulatory system so in this video or in this lesson we are going to discuss about the circulatory system how does it work okay so this circulatory system consists of different parts among that the first part we are going to discuss that is what blood okay so what is in by blood so the blood is a fluid which flows in blood vessel okay so see i will show you one image see in this image you can see the different blue and the red color lines are there okay so that all the lines contain in the blood in our body and it forms a network of the blood vessels in our body okay so in this way we can say that what the blood is a fluid which flows in blood vessel and this blood helps to transport the digested food which are get digested into the small intestine also it helps to transport the oxygen which we inhale during the inhalation and goes to the lungs through the lungs it goes to a different body parts that we have seen in our previous lesson okay so in this way the blood transported the digested food from the small intestine also it transported the oxygen from the lungs and also it transported the waste materials to the different uh, to the different excretory organs okay so in this way the blood helps to transfer all these different things but how it is possible for the blood to transfer all these different things so blood can transport all these different things with the help of the fluid part of the blood okay so with the help of the fluid part which is present in the blood all this transportation takes place and that fluid part which is present in the blood it is called as what plasma okay so plasma is the liquid part which is present in the blood and this plasma also contain the different types of the cell so here what we can say that the blood can contains the liquid or the blood can contain the fluid material and along with that it also contain the different cells okay so the what is the fluid part in the blood that is nothing but what plasma but one of the cell which is present in the blood that is what red blood cell okay so it is the one type of the cell which is present in the blood and for that what the red blood cell which is also called as what rbcs okay red blood cells are there so this red blood cell contain a one pigment okay this red blood cell contain the one red color pigment and the name of that pigment is what hemoglobin okay so that red color blood cells containing one red color pigment and the name of that pigment is what hemoglobin this hemoglobin helps or this hemoglobin get mix into the blood and with the help of that hemoglobin or that oxygen whatever we are taking inside it get mix into the hemoglobin and with the hemoglobin it can get transported to the different body parts without hemoglobin it is not possible to transport the oxygen to the different body parts okay so this hemoglobin which is a red color pigment and that is the reason it makes the blood appear red okay so hemoglobin makes the blood appear red so this is the one type of the cell present in the blood now we will discuss the next type of the cell which is present in the blood that is what white blood cells okay so what is the work of this white blood cells this white blood cells helps to protect our body from the different diseases it protects our body from the different infections or it also helps to 
protect our body to fight against the different diseases. Okay, so it is another cell which is present in one blood that is what white blood cells. It is also called as what WBCs. Okay. Next one, platelets. Now sometimes what happens here? By uh, by mistake, you are having certain cuts on your body parts. Okay. So as you are having the cuts, then obviously the blood will come out from the body. But after a certain period of the time, what happens? The blood gets stopped or the bleeding gets stopped, and the one blackish color or the reddish color plug-like substance is get occurred on that cut. Okay, why does it happen? Why did the blood get unplugged? Because or why does the blood get plugged? Or how the bleeding gets stopped? Because of these platelets. Okay, because of these platelets. So the platelets helps. to stop the bleeding it from the clot on the cut portion and it stops the flow of the blood from the body okay so this is the next part which is present in the blood that is what platelets it helps to stop the bleeding okay so all these are the red blood cells wbcs platelets and the fluid part that is what plasma to give them it forms what blood all these things are present in the Blood and with the help of that, the blood can transport digestive food, oxygen, and the waste to the different body parts. Okay, so this is all about today. Today we have discussed the first part in the circulatory system that is what blood. So today we will stop here. We will meet in the next video with the next point. And for today, thank you.